Welcome to the Digital Marketing Insights Podcast, brought to you by Brightside Digital. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the show. I'm delighted to say today we have Leah, who is the marketing executive at National Library of Ireland and freelance writer. Leah, how are you doing? Hi, Tom. How are you? Yeah, very good. Thank you. Um, thank you so much for being on the show. Leah, we start off the podcast the same all the time. Could you tell us a little bit of yourself? Absolutely. So um, I joined the communications and development team at the National Library of Ireland back in April 2020 in a new role as marketing executive at the start of the first lockdown in Ireland. So since then, I've been growing the National Library's uh, social media presence, helping to build relationships by engaging and sharing and bringing people together online. Um, my background is rooted in the creative and cultural industries. So I'm a multimedia artist and writer with experience working in publishing, marketing, art and exhibitions, event management, heritage and nonprofit cultural organizations. I'm also a graduate of the University of the Arts London, and I have an MA in Goldsmiths in Creative and Cultural Entrepreneurship, which sounds about as complicated as it is to spell, but it is essentially an MA in Creative Business. Um, I also have a digital marketing diploma from the Digital Marketing Institute. And uh, prior to working at the library, I've worked for Dublin Book Festival, Image Interiors and Living Magazine, Madison Publications, and Graphic Studio Gallery in Dublin, as well as MMMB Creative, a literary agency in London. Um, I also, as you mentioned, I, I freelance on occasion and some recent projects include working as a script writer and a voice artist for Home, which is an animation about the Irish famine for Carrick Macross Workhouse, uh, Solace, which is a short film for St. Patrick's Day Festival showcasing beautiful locations around Ireland, and two short films exploring the history of Ormond Castle. Looking at your experience, I'm in awe of some of the creativity you've had in your career to date. Um, what would you see as your main strength in digital now and how do you apply your creativity into your work? Well, I'd say, you know, I'd lean towards organic and social. And in my experience, you know, successful marketing is really all about good storytelling. So the joy of promoting the National Library is that our collections provide a treasure trove of stories from across the ages to draw upon. And in my own creativity and interests, you know, I've always straddled the line between art and literature and could never pick. And I can draw upon both at the library. Um, the library really is Ireland's memory keeper. And with over 12 million items in our collections, 140,000 of which have been digitized and are available to explore online, there's plenty for me to work with. Um, in terms of my strengths, I believe I probably have a bit of a knack for picking up on trends and stories that people relate to online. Um, usually my instincts uh, for what content will best resonate and even potentially go viral are correct. Um, as I've often worked for nonprofit cultural organizations, I'm quite used to working with shoestring budgets and therefore put a lot of thought and research into writing my marketing content plans in order to try to maximize engagement and reach. I also believe that having a genuine enthusiasm and passion for what you're promoting tends to shine through to your audience. Um, and just a little personal story, but back when I was um, a 19 year old art student, I was coming across so many wonderful artists online that I started a book arts blog on Tumblr thinking, you know, a handful of people would be interested in this very niche world of book arts and design. But by the time I was graduating, the blog had grown to 100,000 subscribers and the staff at Tumblr itself had reached out to me to ask me to become one of their content tag editors for their arts and crafts feed. And it was at that point that I realized I had an aptitude for digital marketing as it was not something that I'd ever previously considered working in before. That's incredible. It's incredible that a company like Tumblr would actively reach out. I know I, I'm very aware that uh, this kind of process happens. And I know right now in modern digital uh, discord, there's a lot of projects mm -hmm. out there that actively use discord are trying to hire similar in a similar mold, uh, kind of uh, discord moderate moderators. But, um, yes, what I find really interesting about you what you work on Leah, is basically you have so much potential content in 12 million different content pieces in a library and like you mm -hmm. say from an irish history point of view 
how do you identify what you think is is good content to put out there and secondly what's the content piece that you're most proud of i mean it's so hard um to to narrow it down obviously and that's part of of my job is to try to pick up on what i think will best resonate but um, I often draw upon, of course, the strengths of all my colleagues who are experts in their fields, whether it's conservation, special collections, manuscripts, you know, they, these are the top experts in Ireland. And so I'll often reach out to my co-workers to ask, you know, what what interests them? Um, but then, of course, I am biased and I will naturally gravitate towards my own. Um, but I think just by doing the job, um, you start to get a feel for it and, you um, and, and what people are are hungry for and what the, you know, makes them feel sometimes something as well, because ultimately with the National Library, it's all personal human stories. Yeah. Um, and I, sorry, I feel like I forgot the other part of your question. No, no, I, and I, I'll, I'll mention that bit now. Um, yeah. Uh, obviously, I, I'm going through your feed and I'm seeing, you know, touch points on Yates and the French Revolution and different parts of points in time that might or might not have affected island but is there a content Mm -hmm. piece that wouldn't be an obvious contender that you found has worked really well engagement wise or something that you thought oh wow that was that works really well well absolutely but so for instance um at the height of the you know the lockdowns here in ireland um and we were all limited to our two kilometer walks um i went for a walk in my neighborhood and came across um, this quote that had been written on chalk outside of someone's home that was uh, from a Seamus Heaney interview saying, you know, if we can winter this one out, we can summer. Is it a summer anywhere? I'm trying to remember now. It's <laughs> a few a few months back. And I just took a picture of that and shared it, you know, because it spoke to me. And that went viral. Um, and similarly, um, I had been to County Longford and I, I came across Oscar Wilde's little sister's grave um, who'd only died at age nine and you know he dedicated a whole beautiful poem to her and I found that very moving and I shared that and again that went viral too so um, it's nice to know that you're not alone and, and a lot of people in the audience like myself uh, for the National Library are, have a love of literature um, and so we can all connect and bond with that all around the world. Yeah that's that's fantastic so Obviously, you're producing this really interesting content that's going out there to an Irish audience. Is there any softwares that you use to enhance some of your work or report back some of the results? Absolutely. Um, Hootsuite in particular has been a huge time saver for me. So for anyone who's not familiar, Hootsuite is a social media management platform. And that means that I'm able to plan and schedule content for the last library, you know, 365 days of the year, seven days a week, rain or shine. If I'm on leave or out sick, our social media platforms will continue to publish away. And it's also a really useful way um, to schedule content during the times when our audiences are online and therefore more likely to engage. Um, Also, I think, you know, when I first joined the library, we didn't have an in-house graphic designer. And so I was creating a lot of our visual content myself, um, such as posters for our programs of events, infographics, online quizzes, typographical quotes, you know, from writers. So outside of obviously the Adobe suite, the free to use website Canva was really useful for accessing uh, templates for creating social media graphics. Um, thankfully now the library has a dedicated graphic designer, my colleague Emma Conway, um, for me to collaborate with on campaigns and, and graphics. And she's done an amazing job of branding our social media content to make it more cohesive and visually recognizable as originating from the National Library using all our trademark colors and fonts. So now we hope that when people come across uh, things that have been retreated, we share, reshared, they'll immediately recognize that's from the National Library. Away from your particular strengths at the moment, is there any particular areas that you're looking to upskill into and why? Yeah, so as mentioned earlier, my academic background is obviously in the arts. And now and again, you know, I do experience that dreaded imposter syndrome because I don't have a BA or an MA in marketing. I'm just a professional diploma after taking an online course back in 2017 and, you know, sitting an exam. However, when I go through my past work experience, I do recognize that marketing was crucial to every single organization that I've worked for. And I've always naturally gravitated towards it in each role. 
um, first subconsciously as a student blogger and then later on a mission as a marketing executive. Um, lately, I've uh, produced some promotional films for the National Library, and I really enjoyed that experience. And so would love to learn more about video marketing and campaigns, especially now that platforms like Instagram are favoring videos over photographs. It seems like an essential skill to add to my arsenal. Looking at the digital industry as a whole, Leah, is there anything that excites you that might be coming down the line or in the future? Well, I think um, that during the challenging and you know very isolating era of COVID-19, connecti- uh, connectivity really became more important than ever. So almost overnight, for instance, the National Library had to pivot entirely online. And I could probably not have joined the library as their you know first marketing executive during a more crucial time. So although the library's doors had closed, our digital doors had remained open throughout the pandemic. And we began to experiment with new ways of sharing and encouraging engagement with our collections and program events and exhibitions online. And the response has been overwhelmingly positive. So suddenly we were hearing from people all around the world, you know, who previously couldn't visit the library. Now they were attending our events, using our online services and connecting with us like never before. Over the last two years, you know, our analytics have reached record numbers. We've doubled our newsletter subscribers and on Instagram, our followers, for instance, have grown by a thousand percent since I took up my position. Um, And now, thankfully, obviously, the, the library's doors are back open again since May last year. But as we emerge from the pandemic, I believe it's important to take with us the lessons that we learned during it. So the silver lining that I found during this difficult period included you know, increased access to our digital collections, um, developing an ongoing program, a hybrid program of online and in-person events, uh, the growth, of course, of our online and international community and attracting new demographics, particularly particularly like a younger demographic, uh, as is seen in our analytics. And um, going forward, I'm just hoping that organizations like the library continue to be accessible online and remain innovative innovative, um, and outward focused in order to reach wider audiences at home and abroad, I think it would just be, you know, a real shame to go backwards and to lose sight of the importance of digital marketing and global outreach. Lastly, we always ask the same question on the show, which is if you could bottle up one personality trait you have yourself that you could pass on to others, what would that be? I think um, perhaps being a good communicator, you know, which requires having empathy and consideration for others. So you know, trying to be sensitive to other people's needs and weaker areas, while also recognizing and drawing upon their strengths, both in the workplace and in life. So, you know, I I think it would certainly make my life easier if uh, others embodied that same value. Well, wonderful answer. Leah, that's it. We're at the end of the show. I just want to say first and foremost, thank you so much for being on the show. Keep up the excellent work. I'm definitely a fan. So I I look forward to more of your content. And uh, yeah, and for anyone watching, definitely check out their socials, see what they're doing. Um, it's 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 brilliant that history can be more relevant than ever. And uh, there's so much to learn still. So thank you. Well, thank you so much, Tom. It was so lovely to be asked to speak with you today. And it was just a pleasure. Thanks so much.